Hey seventh graders. Um, so this week's lesson is on space. Um, space referring to um, in a 2D artwork, you can make stuff appear to go back into a background to look like it has depth. Also, um, when you talk about space, space is positive or negative. Um, this is all information you can find in this way. But for our project, we are doing two point perspective, which is a review. We um, did a castle drawing, if you remember, where we create a castle in two point perspective. So to change it up, I'm gonna show you how to create a robot in two point perspective. Now I created a space robot. However, if you wanna get creative and create a completely different type of background, that's totally up to you. So let's get started. The supplies we're gonna need for this project is going to be a pencil, eraser, um, thin, and like a medium marker. And then of course a ruler. Because we're doing perspective, we need to have those straight lines. Um, if you don't have a ruler, you can use a straight edge from a binder or um, a piece of cardboard, it's up to you. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by folding my piece of paper in half, just lightly. And that's going to be the middle of my paper. On each side, I want you to put two dots. Those are the two vanishing points. We're doing two point perspective, so we need the two vanishing points. Okay, to get started, um, we're gonna start with the head of the robot. I highly recommend having an eraser available and drawing lightly because a lot of these lines turn into guidelines and we erase them eventually. So you don't wanna draw too dark when you're doing this or else it'll be pretty tough to um, erase all the lines. So I, I'm gonna go slightly off center and draw a line down, just like that. Um, it's almost in the center, not quite. Um, if you wanna make it in the center, that's fine. But the main part of my face is going here, so I wanted to give it a little extra more space over here. So, when I'm done, I'm going to take this top line, I'm going to lightly draw and connect the top of the of this line to this vanishing point. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with the bottom. Then I'm gonna switch over. Take the bottom of the line, connect it to this vanishing point. Take the top of this line, connect it to the vanishing point. So at this point, it looks like a weird kind of 3D like arrow pointing up. Now, this is where our parallel lines come in. So we need to create the sides of our robot head. And we do that by drawing parallel lines compared to this line. So I'm gonna line up my ruler. I don't want it angled like that. I want it lined up with this line. And I'm gonna pull it over and draw a line. I'm gonna line back up here, push it over. I'm gonna draw a line. I made the side slightly bigger because this is going to be the face of my robot. So I am then going to take this point here, connect it to the opposite vanishing point. If I tried to connect it here, that line already exists. So that's what tells me to use the opposite vanishing point. Then I line it up and I draw this line this way. Okay, now you can see the bottom of my box or the, the head of the robot. So I highly recommend taking a moment to erase your lines before we start the next step. Okay, so the next step is I am gonna draw a line and this line here, even though we didn't trace it, that's kind of like our horizon line. That's what the vanishing points sit on. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes over the horizon line slightly I'm gonna come down here because I still want room for my feet. So you can see that I went above the line but I didn't quite touch that up there. So I'm gonna start again by connecting this line to that vanishing point. Because this line is so close to the horizon line, you can see that the top of it is much more flattened than up here where it's more angled. All right, so I'm gonna connect here and connect here. And then for the sides of the robot, I am going to do the parallel line thing again, where I line it up and I'm gonna push it over and draw a parallel line. Line it up, push it over, 
parallel line. And there is kind of like the chest or the body of my robot. I'm gonna erase those lines so I don't get confused. Okay, so we're doing really well. We have two of the boxes. We have two more to go because I'm gonna make two feet for my robot. Now, if you just wanna make one foot or a floating robot, that's totally fine too. I want you to be creative with this project. So I'm gonna start again, but I'm gonna start on this side of the box and I'm just drawing a little line, okay? So like we've done previously, I connect each of these lines to the vanishing point. I'm gonna move over here. Okay, I'm gonna draw the parallel line. So I'm gonna draw a parallel line here. Then I'm gonna push over here. Now this box is much smaller because this is going to end up being my foot. I then connect to the opposite vanishing points. Now I can stop here because I know it's connected. I don't have to trace it all the way out, but if it helps you to do it correctly, you can continue tracing it all the way to the vanishing point. Now notice you can see underneath the head and you can see on top of the feet but not, you can't see the top and bottom of this box. And that's because it lies directly on the horizon line. So I'm gonna erase my lines. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is, I kind of see how I erase this line. I'm going to move towards that. That helps me kind of keep these two feet on the same plane, but because this foot is farther back, it's going to be smaller. So I'm gonna draw a little line here, okay? And then I'm gonna connect the two lines. And I'm hitting the body, so I, I'm just going to stop because I know that it won't go through. I'm still lining it up to the vanishing point. And then I'm gonna draw my parallel lines. Mm, that went a little big. There we go. And then I'm gonna connect. And that line is already drawn because I'm hitting and the foot's actually underneath the body, so that's okay. If you can see the whole foot, that's fine too. But the way I did this, I made this a little close so it's overlapping a little, but that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna add some details to the robot. Um, we have to connect these so he doesn't have a floating head, unless you want a floating head, that's okay. But I'm going to start with a curved line and then I'm going to move it. If you wanna do it straight, that's fine. I kind of like them a little wobbly looking. And I'm going to draw the lines there, okay? So that connects the head to the body. Now for the feet. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna draw my curve line. Now I'm switching the direction of my curve. When I was looking up, it curved over like that. Now that I'm looking below, it's curving underneath. And that kind of helps with the illusion that this is 3D. Now, it's a little tough for me right here um, because it's so close and I actually can't see much of the leg. So I'm just adding a little detail like that. Um, okay, so for the arms, what I like to do is, let's start with this side first. I draw a curved line, and then I move it out, and then I'm gonna just make a simple, like, robot hand, nothing fancy, like that, okay? So I'm gonna start curving my lines this way, but as I move it up, I'm gonna change the curve, and then I'm gonna continue those lines into the fingers, okay? So there's one. Now, because we can see this side, we can see where it connects to the body. We can't see that over here, so I just draw a line up. Now, I'm making this purposely a little bit smaller because it's further away from us, so it's gonna be smaller than this hand. and I'm going to continue with the curves like that. OK. 
okay? So I have my hands, my legs, my neck, and the last thing we're gonna do in perspective is the details in the face. So I'm gonna keep my face super simple, but I have to connect because I'm working with this side of the face, I connect it to this vanishing point. So I am going to draw two lines and that's gonna help me mark out the eyes. So I'm gonna draw a parallel line this way and that's the parallel line I'm um, comparing it to. Then I'm gonna draw a parallel line, parallel line. And now I'm gonna erase these. And these turn out to be my eyes that I'm keeping in perspective. And then I don't worry about trying to keep the details too much in perspective, so I'm just gonna add the eyes like that. Maybe a couple little eyelashes. You can totally decide what you wanna do for your robot. Be creative with it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is, for the face at least, is I'm gonna draw the smile or the mouth. And I'm gonna do the two parallel lines again. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm gonna connect these lines to the vanishing point, then I'm going to do the parallel lines. And then I like to connect the middle line to that vanishing point. And there is the face of my robot. So now we can do a similar thing on the body area if you wanna add like buttons or other gadgets to it. So like I think I'm just going to make a parallel line like that, two parallel lines, and then I'm gonna connect the bottom to this vanishing point. And then this is just going to be like stripe going down, like each our different button. Okay. Well, that didn't look too well. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, connect, and then connect. Okay, and then over here, um, I think I'm gonna make a bigger box. It doesn't really matter if you start with the parallel lines or the, the vanishing point. I go back and forth what's easier, but um, as long as you're making sure your vertical lines are parallel and then the lines that are horizontal are connected to the vanishing point. And then this, is, I'm gonna divide this box in half. Okay, let's make this like the heart of the robot. And then maybe I'll have like a little gauge over here. Let's make this go higher. And I can have a little arrow. And then I think I want a double line here. Okay. So there are all the details on my robot, looking pretty good. So um, at this point, we've done everything we needed with the, um, the perspective and um, connecting the lines and drawing. So what I suggest is tracing your robot with a pen or a marker so we can see the details. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about shading and how that's going to work. So I'm gonna trace all my lines. Okay, so I finished with um, tracing all my lines. I actually switched to like a um, bolder marker for the outline and then a thinner marker for the details. I also erased my like pencil lines afterwards. Now, to help this look even more 3D, we are going to um, use three different colors. So I picked a light, a medium, and a dark. Now I'm using crayon because I feel like that's a ma material most of you have, but if you wanna use color pencils, oil pastels, watercolor, it's totally up to you. Um, so for this, 
we have to pick a light source. Um, that's where it's going to be brightest in your artwork. So I'm going to pick this corner up here. Um, because it's up here, the first side that the light hits is going to be the face. So the front of this is going to be the lightest color. So I'm gonna color it with my lighter color. Now, if you don't have crayons, you can easily do this with pencil and shade three different shades. And it might look cool because it might look like metal. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna do the tops or the fronts of these. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my medium color. The next one is going to be the side. Okay, then the darkest is going to be underneath. Now, you might think like some people might want to, if the light source is coming down, make this the lightest one, but I was thinking that because the feet are under the body, it might be casting a shadow, so that's why I'm making this part the darker part. Notice the middle section, you can't see the top or bottom, so we are not, you don't have to worry about coloring it, okay? So, the last few steps, um, I can add whatever colors I want to the details, and then I want you to create some sort of background. Um, so I love space, so I'm gonna make mine a space robot. So if you want to, you can go in and start sketching or jump right in with the crayons, it's up to you. Okay, as you can see, I'm all finished. Um, I used a lot of like the techniques that we've been going over the past couple of weeks, such as shading and blending um, and choice of color to create this um, two-point perspective robot. Remember, be creative with this and have fun, and I look forward to seeing all your different types of robots.